What if something goes wrong again? What if something goes wrong again and CM Punk leaves? What does this mean for the show, for all of it? I mean, presumably the show must go on. But, I mean, given everything that went down, I mean, it seems like that's that's an awfully big leap to state that without Punk, the show cannot take place. But uh, he obviously is is a very important part of it. United Center, that's the, uh, that's the debut show. He'll be there, presumably. And uh, they'll also be in Chicago June 21st, which is Wednesday, at the Wintrust Arena. And we've talked a lot about the uh, all the rumors about this show, so I'd presume that sometime in the next week or so, we're going to uh, we're going to find out a lot more. Start with you, Tom. Any thoughts on all of this? Let's dance, baby! I am so excited to see CM Punk come back to wrestling and just see what happens. I mean, I come where I spent you know years in a business where. Getting into a fist fight with somebody, um, you know, not exactly frowned upon in my line of work. And a lot of... To be clear, of, you're talking UFC and not your independent professional wrestling career. Correct. I'm speaking of my past in mixed martial arts. And uh, while there's been... Like, in pro wrestling, there's been a history of disagreements between people that were way, way worse than this. I mean, we had a guy get stabbed with scissors... I mean, and, and then later on, you know, they're both still working for the same company, I believe. You know, I mean, this is like, I understand you don't want to go to work and hate everybody you work with. You don't want to go to work and get run down verbally by your co-workers and co-hosts, um, by your other wrestlers. But I mean, this is far from the worst thing that's ever happened backstage in wrestling. And, uh... You know, I, I think it adds a, a big level of intrigue that is going to be a shot in the arm for AEW, at least for a short term. Hmm. I understand what Filthy's saying there, but it's a different era with different type of guys and a whole different type of corporate situation that we've got going on here. And you know what? Feelings do matter, actually, you know, and your happiness at your job does matter. And on one side, there are two guys who don't seem to want have anything to have anything to do with CM Punk right now in the Young Bucks to feel as though, you know what, this company is here because of us. This is our company. And look, there is a lot that needs to be hashed out here, obviously, with the, the parties involved. I don't see this being beneficial long term. It's definitely going to be beneficial short term. That's for sure. So can you juice everything you can out of it before we get another situation where guys can't work together? But to what Filthy was saying, it probably can all be worked out. You know, you don't have to love the person that you're working with. Yes, the fight did happen. You know, and again, it comes down to emotions because looking at this from the outside, hearing for years, I'm, I'm 47 years old, there have been fights in football locker rooms, wrestling locker rooms, all sorts of things, tons of things that, you know, a lot of people never really even hear about. You know, these things can absolutely be mended for business sake. It's just... With that said, for how long? Because if it's constantly going to orb and have this issue of tension, you know, it can work short term, but sooner or later, that bubble's going to burst. This brawl happened in September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. It's been seven months, okay? And I know that people say it can be worked out, and I'm sure it could, but given we're seven months away from everything, this thing ain't going to be worked out. OK, but but it's as we have to. talked about, there's there's been discussions of of split crews. OK, whatever you want to call it, brand split, soft brand split, split crew, whatever. He'd be on one show. They'd be on the other show. OK, so if that happens, I'll be Mr. Positivity. OK, there's two possibilities here. One, they stay on their show. He stays on his show. Everything works out great. OK, or the other option is that they stay on their show. He goes to his show. Something goes wrong. He leaves. It's done. That's it. That's the only two options, right? 
It's either it's going to work out one way or the other. It's either going to work out because the plan is going to go according to plan, and if the plan doesn't go according to plan, it's all over. Yeah, but you know what? There's a caveat to that that we can get to when we come back from break because if it works out for one side and not the other when it comes to ratings and attention, is that going to now cause a bunch of tension with people wanting to go back and forth to different shows or something like that? The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. (laughs) It doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. And by E. By E? He said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain, I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.